uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like. Leningrad, St. Petersburg for the city of Lenin. For right there died on the streets. Oh my God! Country border, Soviet Union. This is a very nicely put together a museum, and it's free. Here's, I guess, is a typical house during the war, during the siege. Notice. This is just like uh, basically as if we are walking on that road of life. You see. This is Igor in Russia, and this is uh, Salyanoy Periulok. Yes, Periulok. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna walk this uh, Salyanoy Periulok street alley and go to see the museum, war museum uh, dedicated to Leningrad um, blockade. Blockade is a huge event, a huge undertaking that uh, the Russian people uh, managed to beat and. Uh, that's why you, everywhere you go in Leningrad and across the country, of course, in the Second World War monuments, you can see different things, how people commemorate these huge deeds. Anyways, here is a, actually a, a St. Pantelimon a Cathedral dedicated to the battles of Hankoniemi, where Finnish, uh, Russia beat Swedes in 17-something battle. And then there's uh, also a wall dedicated to it says uh, to the heroic defenders of uh, of Hanko, which is refers to the Second World War, which is interesting because it was uh, it was a rent rented kind of I think was it? It was part of Russia, not part of Russia. It was rented for Russian. It was for, uh, then Finland area. So, anyways, let's got in the, not get into the Finnish. Uh, Russian-Soviet conflict war. Uh, let's focus on the awesome place over here. This street is beautiful. Don't want to get too much into politics anyways. It's interesting how, of course, it's been portrayed differently. I have also made a video about it, so check it out on my Finnish, Finnish, Russia, uh, Finnish Russia playlist. And of course I have Russian Finland series as well. Anyways, here's some kind of a movie movie set. Anywhere you go in Russia, St. Petersburg, you see there's a there is a lots of stuff happening. I didn't know here. It just, you know, happens to be here that it's a movie set. Because probably because of this building. It's a humongous, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I think this is a university, actually. Don't think we're gonna get in. Or can we? Туда можно заходить нельзя? А съемки или? А так то он закрыт, ты иду. Это мне что я не знаю, что это место просто иду. А, а. Они закрыты, и завтра вечером, послезавтра будет... Дверь открыта, ему зайти. А что за фильм? Нельзя говорить? Серия? Сериал? Спасибо. All right, so they cannot tell me what the M won't let me in. Check it out. Amazing place. So they say it's a museum. I think the other one is the uh, university. But anyways, I didn't film him, but uh, he was. Uh, he said that uh, uh, it's otherwise it's open, but not now. It's uh, being filmed, and I was like saying that uh, what movie? He said I cannot say. Well, I said like a series. He said no. So uh, no information. Maybe we'll see. Maybe you'll see Igor in Russia in a Russian movie. But I guess they're finishing off, so you won't see me in a, in, a, in a movie except YouTube guys. But I've been on actually on a 
French TV with the border closing news because my video went viral in 2022. Amazing details, you have to actually take a little bit step back to enjoy this place. All right, Saliano Riulok. And I think it's like means like uh, a salty, salty alley. And this here actually is that uh, uh, the university, I think, we'll see in a second. Beautiful historic area. Beautiful. Like an art school, probably. <laughs> I don't feel like going in, and you know, there's probably uh, safety measures, and I have to take the bag off, etc., which I won't. Where we going is that next building over there. Yeah, Kinopolis is uh, the studio and cultural center, it says. There's the names of the uh, actors, meaning that's the dressing room. It says that George, Alexander, Ilya. There's more names. There's the Evgeny, uh, Daddy. Oh, a helicopter. It's always cool to see a helicopter. I don't know why. Everybody's always turned around. It's not as uh, it's a new technology or, or what, but everybody's always turning around. Right, guys, we're approaching the siege, Leningrad siege uh, museum. I was here, I think, 2017. So I'm trying to also film them for my channel because if you're new to the channel, you don't know that I have actually an awesome Igor in Russia map. All my videos and locations are on a map, link in the video's description. You can uh, check it out, especially works well on laptop. Yes. That's a beautiful uh, sculpture here. Very beautiful. Very unique style. There's no text name of it, so not sure how to call it. And since we're approaching the Museum Barone Leningrada, uh, meaning it says uh, it's a museum of uh, defense of Leningrad. You can see already some old artillery. This is from the late 19th century, probably. And this is a newer one, new air defense cannons. So let's check out this uh, first, uh, this beautiful other sculpture as well. I think it's something, it portrays people who are suffering throughout the, to meant the uh, 900 days of the siege. 900 days, guys. The State Memorial Museum of Defense and Siege of Leningrad. So yeah, like I said, this is a State Museum of uh, Defense and Siege of Leningrad. And we're gonna go in and check it out exclusively on Igor in Russia. Subscribe to the channel, like, and please support the channel if you really like what I do, or at least a little bit like what I do, because it takes a lot of effort to do this. All right, let's go check it out. I wonder how much does it cost?
Здравствуйте. Сколько билет стоит без всяких? А, нет, другие. -то. Бесплатные? Это бесплатно, то есть, да? А, я не знал. Спасибо. It's free, free of charge. Toilet is downstairs, so guys, I'm gonna show you all the best pieces. Started this excursion, so I'm not going to speak too much. All right, I'm guessing there's a lot of floors here. General, uh, General Zhdanov. Right, guys. This looks pretty good. Yes, it's gonna be. A lot of generals, names, so I'm not gonna go through them, it's gonna take forever. I'm trying to be as effective as I can and at, uh, whilst seeing everything we want to see. first one so here we have actually you can spend a whole day here actually so like quick click on the, this person here it's this one chick general mayor uh, mayor major general major rat of Piotr Filipovich Thank you. 
somewhere here. Oh wow. Some Germans, German uniform here. That's for with gas and burn, I don't know what for. The Gorod Lenin for the city of Lenin. Forward. We are, I assume we're going to see a lot of these maneuvers here. Leningradsky front, Leningrad front, Volhovsky front. of the Leningrad people. Here's a tram, actually a few trams worked throughout the siege. I filmed the monument of uh, tram, tram monument. The people died, laid there dead on the streets. Oh my God. Check it out, this is like a reproduction of a of a city city battle, city outskirts battles. And walking on the streets of St. Petersburg, I've actually seen some bunkers, old bunkers covered, you see the doors uh, in a suburban area. I have seen, you have seen it with me on my channel, different videos, Lisnaya for example. There's like a, a bomb, small crater, burned wood. Motorcycle zoom top KS six hundred. And that's the sign of a country border Soviet Union. Children's uh, works for the ninth of uh, Victory Day. Everything for the front, Fjordia front. It's a touch screen, I'm gonna go into that. This is here, Marshal Gavorov. Man, huge operation. 
Sibirsky, Lubain, everywhere battles. Here's the tram I told you about. It's a blockade tram and I've seen the original tram in uh, Aftova. It's located there. I'm trying to remember to put the link. It actually worked. some old posters as if in the streets of St. Petersburg, pretty dark. Eighty years to the tram of Leningrad blockade. This is pretty nicely done, the whole museum. Notice Pushkin on the wall. 1941 to 1942, winter. What they counting here? What schools worked? Yeah, this is a per, uh, interpretation of how schools worked, operated, and what schools operated during the whole siege, non-stop. Even the artists worked throughout the siege. Mm -hmm. You see Shostakovich, Symphony, Symph uh, Symphony Orchestra. Is that performances? Yes, during the war they performed. Is this like the war effort? Yes. What is Nord? Metro took it out. I love, I have a thing for Metro, so it's heartwarming to see this different, uh, different ways to uh, keep the fire, uh, fire position safe. What did I do for the front today? It says. This is a very nicely put together a museum and it's free. I was amazed. But it's uh, understandable. It's, uh, this, it's something that everybody needs to know. Be careful, don't tell the secrets. Secrets out loud. These wax figures are actually pretty uh, realistic. Here's, I guess, is a typical house during the war, during the siege, notice. Small, small bed. Notice a samovar and small kettle. 
is uh, ration food. Everything was uh, counted, <coughs> empty bread uh, bakery, only yeah, empty windows shut down, just like this is very surrealistic, typical Petersburg doors. Normal with the chleba, the what time uh, amounts of bread given out 250, I'm sorry, 250 grams, 125 grams, different amounts during different days. Here's the coupon, food coupons. Действительно, водители не то что два, они три рейса подряд совершали, фактически не отдыхали. Они понимали, как это не И благодаря их работе, инвентара, на то, что есть вопросы дорогой жизни, было эвакуировано население более одного миллиона человек. That's what she said. The drivers on the road of life, which was bombarded non-stop, it's a small road, which is the only one that kept St. Petersburg somehow uh, supplied. The drivers worked non-stop, even though they knew that they might die any moment. And, the, and uh, they evacuated one million people from the city. Here you can see the evacuation process. Notice the floor. That's the steering wheel from the ages. Check out the pictures. Different through water. They had it then. Uh, this is how they help transfer it underwater also. Not onto water, but partially. And this is uh, this is war uh, hero's uh, real jacket. Nina Vasilyevna Sokolova. Hey, I know her. I heard the name. Here is the battle of what? Leningradsky frontier. Oh wow. Uh, this is uh, not Leningrad. Leningrad is to the left. This is uh, south of Lad Ladoga, Lake Ladoga. Schlisselburg city I still want to visit. Some children's toys here. This is just like uh, basically as if we are walking on that road of life. You see, that's a crack in the ice. Just like a road of life. Here's one of the propellers. Or not propellers, I think it's maybe for the boat. No, it is a uh, propellers piece of uh, piece of uh, airplane. Here is a, and uh, if you're interested, if you're, if you're interested in road of life, I've been to the main mm, main point, main place of road of life uh, memorials, even though they're like scattered throughout Leningrad all the way to that starting point. Uh, but uh, the the city is. Uh, it is it's Kolpina of Sevalosk. That's the place where it's the main. There's a huge, beautiful memorials there for the road of life. Check out my video. We'll try to put it on description. It's 
small artillery. It is a uh, front, Len front, Leningrad front, leading a magistral. Uh, and this is actually, we're going the wrong way, by the way. So here is actually, uh, it says the, um, the icy road or like highway, ice highway. And this is where we walked on. Highway 30 kilometers long. Bullets, pieces of uh, different machinery, boat propellers. I'm pretty sure this is everything what's found, really found. This is not fake. There's no need to fake it because there's so much of it. Still, can, they find it all around swamps, etc. And left and right, we can see here's, for example, uh, for those who are uh, those in uh, different gas attacks, firemen. the magazine Pravda. Let's uh, increase the fund, fund of uh, uh, defense fund, defense amount. the leadership of uh, St. Petersburg, Leningrad during that time. City government, governance during the siege. the other part you didn't see. Some artwork commemorating the horrors, not commemorating, remembering. See 
that era, different uh, bombs, shells. Old shovel, check it out. It has a hole in it. But this German sh casket, not casket, sorry. In Russia, it's Kaska. Uh, it means, um, what do you call it? Anyways, it has more holes. No, another one also, nice, interesting museum at the uh, 900 year memorial, 900 days of siege of Leningrad memorial, which I filmed outside. <coughs> there's a also interesting by the way there's a Leningrad cat surviving it's interesting uh, here's a map of the whole city panorama main positions of different stuff factories you know arms production you can see Isaac's Cathedral, etc. All right, this has been a Siege of Leningrad Museum here in St. Petersburg, and uh, I hope you find this uh, touching, informative, interesting. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like, and see you guys in the next video from Leningrad, St. Petersburg. Bye bye. Isaac's Cathedral there, my beloved Saint Isaac's.